LLC here and W6RWS. Jacob here. Hi, Addy. And we're heading up to Ice House Canyon. I don't even think we're sure which peaks we're going to hit yet, but uh, we're going to go up there. There's four peaks in the area. Um, probably the most I'll hit is three. I'll be happy if I hit two and not kill myself up there. Been sitting in the chair all week. It should be uh, interesting to see how I survive that one. So, uh, we're on the 15 northbound, should be up there in about an hour. Um, beautiful, beautiful sunrise up here, hitting the bottom of these clouds from the red, so. I think it's going to be a pretty good day, I don't think we're going to get any rain. Uh, not like last weekend where we got pretty much soaked uh, down to the boat, so that was fun. That was Jacob's fault though. Yep. And up on Cuyamaca. So there you go. Let's get up to the trailhead. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie. Summit's on the air. We're at the trailhead. Um, the parking lot up here is completely full. And from what I understand, if you don't get up here by 6.30, uh, you may not get a spot. I got lucky at the last spot, I think, next to the road. So, Jake and I are going to do this thing. We think. Ready up here. Probably about 50 degrees. Possibly redwood trees here. Very pretty on the trail. We have a high overcast. About 50 degrees. Some uh, old cabins up here. This one looks like it's still in use. So, quite a few people on the trail. To be expected, given the size of the, the amount of cars in the parking lot and the proximity to the LA Basin. Ah, so, wind shacks up here with wood. Um, special use permit. Be kind of nice to sit up here and chill for a few days, read a book. Look into the river down below. And so we're about a little over a mile in. 600 feet of climb so quite a few people on the trail but nothing like going up Mount Woodson on a busy day I'll leave mackerel it's like the 805 freeway Good morning Over six miles and 4,000 feet of climbing. Got the radio up and running. I just saw a Josh spot, so I'm gonna see if I can go get him. Summit to summit, KD0YOB.
A New Hope. And I got to right by Del Taco. Oh, happy day. That takes us to the end of Cucamonga. Let's review what we've done so far. So we started out at the trailhead here and went up that, went into the um, this intersection here, um, also known as a saddle. That's a little over four miles. And uh, then we headed up to Cucamonga. That's a pretty good climb. So, so far we've gone um, at least 3,000 feet, if not more, of climbing. So it's a pretty good incline the whole way. Um, after we did our activation, we went back down to the saddle here and uh, decided uh, whether we'd take some inventory and see if we could still do another one. So we got down there and talked about it and decided we could go up to Timber Mountain. So we went up there. It's a pretty good climb. It's only 0.74, but you got to go up uh, about 800 feet. So um, it's a good steady incline. My legs were kind of shot. I was kind of shot just because I've been sitting in a office chair all week long not getting any exercise and my muscles had just deteriorated I should have been I feel like I should have been in much better shape but uh, you know that's that's kind of the bummer is not being able to hike every day you just slowly deteriorate if you don't do anything so I definitely need to change that we get up there did a quick activation um, and uh, then headed back down <clears throat> I actually I started recording it didn't even record it but it turns out that I lost a bunch of footage I'm not sure how, but after Cucamonga, um, all that footage is gone. And I don't know whether I lost it in the move to the computer and then kind of rearranging some stuff. But, yeah, stuff happens. So once we got the activation done, we knew we'd be in the dark. Um, but uh, we headed down uh, basically the same way we'd come up, went down to the saddle. And... Um, I would have maybe next time do this little loop around there um, through Cedar Glen Campground. That might be interesting. But we decided to take the most direct route back down to the car. Um, we hiked at least a good hour in darkness. We both had our headlamps and were ready to go with um, lots of warm clothing and stuff should we need it. Didn't really need it. Didn't get too too uh, cold. Um, it was enjoyable. That really, Jake and I were the only ones up there. We passed a, a couple other hikers on the way down, but that's about it. Um, so... Had a great time. Um, a huge shout out to Jake, uh, W6RWS. It was really awesome having him um, there to talk to and uh, goof around with as we uh, did our expedition. Certainly makes the miles go a lot easier. Um, so as you can see in the upper left hand side here, <clears throat> we put in 14.3 miles. It's a pretty darn long day. And uh, coming close to 5,000 feet of climbing. So uh, we were pretty much tuckered out and ready to grab a hamburger, which is exactly what we did on the way back. Uh, Jake found a uh, in and out burger. And man, I, I got to tell you, that really hit the spot. So uh, I appreciate you watching so far. And uh, we did lose some footage, but I'm going to throw some stills in here and we're going to roll the credits. Thanks for following along, and 73. I will say one other thing um, before I roll the credits is if you haven't already, check out and, and you want to learn more about the hobby, about doing summits on the air, I did a series of videos specifically showing you how I did all of the planning, why do it, the planning, uh, an example activation, and then how to upload uh, your uh, logs for points or at least how I do uh, Summits on the Air. So if you're interested in taking a look at that and uh, you want to do Summits on the Air, check out hamninja.com, H-A-M-N-I-N-J-A.com, slash uh, Soda360. So we'll go to hamninja.com, slash Soda360, and that'll put you right on my YouTube channel, but right in the series of videos that I did on... Uh, Summits on the air. I also did one for um, chasers as well. Um, and then some deep dives on modifying your soda logs, uh, deep dive into charting, improving copy speed. I'm going to throw stuff out there that I think is kind of helpful to people trying to come up to speed on the hobby. At least things that have helped me. If you've already been doing a lot of summits on the air, 
probably a waste of your time. So at this point, make sure you like and subscribe because it makes my huge ego get even bigger. Um, but more importantly, leave a comment. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but uh, I'd love to hear what you think about the videos. 73 everyone, and have an awesome day.